welcome to my channel where learning art is fun. I'm Sarah and in today's video I'm going to show you how we're going to draw Maximus the horse from Tangled using charcoal. So if you're ready, let's go. So here's a sneaky peek at how he turned out and a list of the materials I used will be in the description box below if you want to go and check those out. So whilst I'm talking you through how I draw Maximus, I also want to mention a few of the advantages and disadvantages of using charcoal to draw with and with the first advantage I thought it would be better to show you. So if you usually draw with regular graphite pencil, look at this comparison. The problem with graphite is that by nature it is quite shiny. You can minimise this as I mentioned in my pencil video that I'll link in the card, but you can't completely get away from it, which can be annoying. Charcoal on the other hand is not shiny, so you can get a really nice dark colour that has a matte finish. One disadvantage of charcoal though is that it's more likely to smudge, but we'll talk about that more in a little bit. So let's get on with our drawing. I started off with a light pencil sketch on a slightly textured piece of paper and I began by using regular willow charcoal. The advantage of this is it's very cheap to buy. And if you haven't seen the quick tips video on the do's and don'ts of drawing with charcoal, as well as the different types available, I'll put a link above in the card for you to go and check out. So I start off on the top half of my drawing and to begin with I'm going to lay down a mid-tone using a small piece of charcoal on its side. I'm not pressing down hard and this willow charcoal, if you apply it fairly lightly to start with, is pretty easy to lift off with a kneaded eraser. So another advantage to using charcoal to draw with is that it's pretty versatile and also as you can see here very quick to lay down. And that's why I like to go in with a mid-tone first rather than go in with the darkest dark straight away because it gives you a nice base to work from. We can add the darkest details later with a charcoal pencil and lift any highlights out at the end. Notice though that some areas I am deliberately leaving free of charcoal those are the areas that I want to keep really bright. Now it's time to blend this first layer and for this I'm using a blending stump or tortillion. If you haven't got one of those you can use a piece of tissue wrapped around your finger but just be aware that tissue can lift off some of the charcoal and lighten the overall tone which just means you may need to add in more charcoal to get the darkness you want. And see how I'm using circular motions to blend the charcoal to get a nice smooth result. I'm not using zigzag lines. Notice at this point as well I've put a piece of tracing paper under my hand to protect my drawing from smudging. And this is the main disadvantage with using charcoal to draw with. It can be a bit messy. But don't let this put you off, because as long as you put something under your hand, you can prevent it. Also remember to tap any of the dust off your page, rather than wiping it with your hand. Or if you've got an easel, why not try that, since raising up your drawing surface will allow the dust to fall down, so you won't have that problem. It's also useful to keep a piece of kitchen roll or cloth handy to wipe your fingers on after you've been holding the charcoal. So I'm nearly done blending this first layer and notice how much lighter the drawing has become. But I like the way that with charcoal you can work in layers and build up to your darker tones gradually. So once this is done I'm going to add another layer of charcoal but this time I'm using a charcoal pencil. The advantage with these pencils is that they come in various tones. So I'm going to start off with a light tone, then I'll go on to a mid and then finally to a dark tone. And these pencils are really good for adding details once you've got your main shapes drawn as they can be sharpened to a point. But unlike a regular graphite pencil, you can't use a regular pencil sharpener as charcoal is very soft and it would break. Instead of that, you can use a piece of sandpaper and I've just got a small block here, but they can come in rolls as well and you can pick them up fairly easily and cheaply at your local hardware store. So these charcoal pencils then are really good for adding the darkest dark details into your drawing and you can keep adding multiple layers until you've achieved the look you want. And it's important to remember if you start off with a, um, a mid-tone like I did at the beginning of this drawing to go dark enough for these dark areas 
to achieve a good contrast and make your drawing really stand out. And after each layer of charcoal, I use my pencil stump to blend to get a nice smooth effect and fill in all the white tooth of the paper. But blending can lighten your tone, so you have to keep repeating the process until you get a nice even dark tone. And as I apply more layers, I use a darker charcoal pencil. So I go, as I said, from the light to the medium to finally the dark. Now one thing you can do with charcoal, which you might have seen me do here, is to blend with your fingers. And I wouldn't normally do this with regular pencil, since there are oils in your skin, which can leave marks on your paper. But with charcoal it's more forgiving, so this can be useful for larger areas or if you haven't got a blending stump. You'll notice also how I keep my tracing paper under my hand at all times. And I choose tracing paper over regular computer paper because you can see the drawing underneath a bit, which helps you to judge the tones you're adding, but also reminds me not to drag the tracing paper, which might smudge the drawing. So you don't have to use tracing paper, regular computer paper, or whatever paper you've got will work just fine, but remember to lift it to reposition it, rather than push it or pull it across your drawing. Because you've worked really hard so far to keep your drawing nice and clean and your hand off the charcoal, so it would be a real shame if that was what ruined your drawing. So another thing I like to do is to use a scrap of paper where I've laid down, as you can see, some charcoal and use it as a palette by applying charcoal to my blending stamp. This is handy just to add some subtle shading if you don't want to add more charcoal pencil to your drawing. But using the blending stump like this, and even after blending on your page, it can leave it a bit dirty, so you can clean this off by using the sandpaper I mentioned when talking about sharpening. And this prevents any charcoal going back onto your drawing when you're shading lighter areas, like I'm doing with Maximus's eyes and teeth. And if you want to know how to make a pencil tortillion like this, or a blending stump, then tune in to next week's quick tips videos because that's exactly what we're going to do and it's going to be a challenge. So make sure you check that out. So finally we're ready to pull out some highlights and I recommend using a kneaded eraser or blue tack or if you've seen the quick tips video from this week maybe even a piece of bread. So anyway the aim is to lift off any charcoal rather than sort of push it around so I would suggest dabbing rather than dragging and you can keep molding your um, kneadable eraser or blue tack to get clean areas to lift off new pieces of charcoal and you can also get into some really nice details just by molding it into a point and that's the drawing pretty much done I'm just going to do a little bit more to his mane and blend that in and I'm also using a tissue and as you can see I'd mentioned earlier about the fact that it does lighten the area it does really blend it nicely and smooth it out but it can lighten it too so that just means that I've gone in afterwards with a little bit more of the dark pencil underneath his chin here just to make sure I've got enough contrast in and then lastly adding his buckle at the bottom and that's Maximus all done. Well, that 
that's all for today Octets. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to draw Maximus the horse from Tangled using charcoal. If you did, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next week. Bye!